Hello everyone, good morning and uh, I'm going to show you a simple quick video uh, on how to change the default uh, ringtone on your iPhone and default tone for messages or any other apps also it has been asked by so many people though it's a very simple question and uh, very simple steps but so many people uh, do not know how to do it so it is actually exactly for them so I'll show you how you can change the uh, ringer uh, default ringer type the tone uh, the tone for messages app or any other app on your iPhone you can also learn how you can increase or decrease the ringer volume so it is very simple on iPhone you simply have to go to the settings and then um, go to volume um, there it is uh, not volume sorry it is sound so under settings you need to go to sounds and then um, you see this slider here this is the slider that you can use to increase or decrease the volume and uh, and uh, right below that uh, you see this uh, option change with buttons if it is turned on you can use the volume button the volume up and down button on the left edge of your iPhone so you can control the ringer volume from the same buttons also just below that you see ringtone so here is the option to change the ringtone the default is opening always uh, you can change to apex uh, bulletin whatever you want uh, so so many people like the default as it is okay. and uh, let's go back there sound and just below that you see text tone and uh, the default one too you can select or you can change uh, any any one of them circles chord aurora complete so this is how you can change the sound uh, the tone for ringtone text tone voicemail sent mail calendar alerts and uh, also sometimes you do not want the sound for keyboard clicks you can turn that off from here or you can turn it back on log sound they all can be controlled from here so this part of sounds under settings is where you have to ch you know come to change uh, the volume or anything related to the sounds on iPhone uh, well that was all I wanted to show in this quick small video I hope this would be helpful please like the YouTube channel and uh, stay tuned for more updates and troubleshooting related article you know videos for Mac and iPhones so thanks for watching this video you have a great day ahead bye bye